What's going on, guys? Ashley from New Ghost Sugar coming at you with the podcast number five. We made it number five. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <yaw. Yaw. laughs> I'm joined by special James. guest for James. Oh, special guest. Yes, I'm joined by James today. He's a special. You have no, a special guest special coming up. You have a special guest coming up. Um, stick around for the next ten seconds, and you might find out who it is. James's problems with uh, with spoilers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like delayed. Uh, what's, the, what's the word? Delayed. Um, I just think it's polite well, to like introduce the guest first. So you always long. introduce the guest. Delayed gratification. Gratification. Yeah, yeah. So we've got, we've got James. We've got Adam. I'm the special guest. Uh, I'm just, I'm even though I've been in every no, podcast so far, yours, yeah, yeah. I've been in every podcast so far, but I'm the special guest. Hell yeah, because I'm disabled. Aiden, Hello. we have new to the podcast. We have Jack Cassidy. Hello. We have the token girlfriend Paulina. Hey guys. <laughs> and joining us today for our very special episode number five, we have the best role player in the world. Can I get a bada bing bada boom? That is fantastic. <laughs> what was <is> that? <laughs> oh my a god. Bada bing bada boom. <laughs> Are you real? Oh, All right, question. Joey yeah. Trifiani. Washington auctioneer. Because <laughs> <laughs> he would be. Damn right. I think it'd be a terrible auctioneer. <laughs> I stutter every two seconds. That's just you. Like I feel like you could just you could pull up being an auctioneer because you just talk so fast. I don't, I don't think so, man. I don't think. I can't see him stutter. That's old. I never just bullied him. This would be no. What What are we getting up to in the podcast today? Um. So we're like talking about how much we love Lab. Because he's pretty cool. I'd love him. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also talking about YCS Atlanta. Um, and maybe this, there'd, be some, there'd be some funnies, you know? Have a bit of banter. Some of those ha-has. Some of those dank ha-has. For example, Aiden's currently wearing a Pringles can in his head. But you Is guys he? can't see it. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> We'll take a photo of it and put it in the thumbnail. Don't too late. I do like. <laughs> I'll Photoshop a Pringles can onto your head. Too late, too late. Too late. How are you guys doing today? We're all right. I'm um, pretty good. good. I'm I had a nap. I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> you guys are like, on average, you guys have had a decent amount of sleep. Uh, yeah, between me and Vlad, we slept for a decent amount of time. <laughs> like, like, combined, we've got a full night's sleep. Yeah, but together, yeah, we've got like half a night's sleep. Yeah. Like, we're just, we're both just fucked. We're, like, we're destroyed, dude. But if you combine yourself and Aiden and get the average, then that's a pretty decent amount of sleep. Uh, Aiden got a decent amount of sleep. No, I got, about, I got about six hours. I got about nine. Yeah, yeah. I'm still oh, tired. Still well, for some. Yeah. I'd say seven. That's not a lot. Yeah. So on average, around like, what, four because of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me and Vlad kind of fucked those ratios. We uh, Lenny, how did you get minus five? We just got to 8 a.m. just screaming about nothing. Oh, no. Trap BA. Trap BA. <laughs> <laughs> Coming Smith. soon to a Euro qualifier near you. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck Don't up. Mention, I'll kill you. Cut <laughs> that. Cut that. No uh, Trap BA no ever. No paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> Trap BA doesn't exist. Legitimately cut that. <laughs> it's sold to, you by the, sold to you by the FBI. Yeah. What even is Trap BA? No one knows. Fuck off. No one knows. Don't talk about that. Dante's a girl. Are you playing? Don't mention the war. Rule number one of Trap BA. Don't fucking talk with Trap BA. That's what I'm saying. Vlad's been addicted to Tetris 99. I've just been playing it, dude. I love it. How, about, how, long, how many hours do you think you have now over the past couple of days? I don't fucking know, shut up. At least. <laughs> Vlad, this is an intervention. This isn't a podcast. Fuck we didn't talk about your addiction to Tetris 99. Uh, dude, I need to get the epic victory royale, dude. You need to get My the man stayed dinner. up all night playing Tetris 99 and Celeste. And I was going to sack him. Celeste is fucked, though. That game is really good. Celeste is really fun. So this is a Yu-Gi-Oh podcast, right? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, yeah. We're talking about, uh, we should make Tetris. a Tetris team. Yeah, we're going to be Tetris and Nun podcast. Something, something, on. something, Cyberstein. There we go. I mentioned the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Hey, <laughs> well done. I think Cyberstein is fun. The Cyberstein is oh, really? <laughs> what gave that away? The, it's the fact Zom- that it's fun. Zombies, uh, Cyberstein's a um, machine. Oh. No, it's no, enough no. Road Warrior. That's kind of cool. It was, there, a, it was a, a joke, yeah. lad. The, I'm a joke. I think I legit yeah, think, yeah. think it's a, it's fun. Yeah. Like the, there's an infinite draw combo you can do in um, in Despot now. So Steven says anyway. So I, I, <laughs> yeah. I think okay. So, you're so, really basing your logic Steven, on what no, Steven you says. Just, you Steven just you loop the pot of Aberystes. <laughs> you loop the pot of Aberystes. So what I think is you just pot like a single a single Cyberstein and then you draw into it and someone it would start using. Does that make it possible for him to resolve base and just hand loop you? Oh my god. I hope it. I hope it does. I'm sure it does. Oh flex. Oh lads, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna flex. Active him. base, hand loop you, Jeff, and yes. <laughs> Ultimate swans. So uh YCS Atlanta happened like last week. 
Over the 94. Exciting stuff. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite exciting to for the game, to be fair. Mm. It's, it's really cool. Of, it's the first ever we, team wise, yes. Yeah, Cody uh, Angelov get carried. Did, did Cody yeah, that's some other things. Did Cody Angelov get carried? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he did. He went yeah. X4 in there. He went yeah. X4 in top. He oh, topped with X5. God. Wow, that's that's getting carried. That's great fun. Like, imagine your team just... Furman did, like, shite day one as well, I think. Imagine being, like... Just carried, like just going to a YCS doing shit and topping. Apparently, anyway. there was a team that topped that like showed up with like only two members and they randomly got a third one. And they topped, like just a random apparently, dude. yeah, yeah. Like yeah, a dude yeah. just went like X seven for them and then they topped anyway. No, I don't know, dude. Like it was funny. Like it's, it's so, so funny. If it's fucking, true, right? That's so stupid. Aiden, stop building danger workers. Stop it's, killing yourself. Please stop. It. Please stop. Leave me alone. Very bold. Leave very bold. Alone. Yeah, no. So like, there's like a, a bit of a history with like the three v three events because like they're really big in Japan. Or, like, OCG in general, I guess. Because, um, you'd see, like, a bunch of, like, tournaments, um, where they, like, they already have, like, a bunch of different strategies, like, uh, the way, like, different people, like, go about with the 3v3 events. And it's just, like, super popular, just because, like, with, like, so since that their, like, market's so much different than ours, um, the, like, the people who do play Yu-Gi-Oh! over there are, um, are usually people who, like, work all the time, so they don't really get to, like, spend time with their friends or whatever. And the team events are, like, really sick for them because they get to, like, spend time with their friends more often, like, at Yu-Gi-Oh! events uh, than they usually would. Uh, because, like, you only get to see them, like, after the rounds, right? So, um, but with, like, team events, um, you get to be, like, with them, like, while you're playing the round. And then you just can also help each other out and stuff, which is, like, really cool as well. That's um, awesome. I know that the, 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 like, working class life in Japan is insane, where they work, yeah. like, they work, like, like 13 hour shit. The Joy Cons are dead! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no victory royale for you. No! They keep randomly dying. It's the worst feeling. I mean, like, I, 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 that's, that's so strange. Just put it in the dock and play it later. Just no. recalibrate them, bro. <laughs> no. Wait, how's Clarence Dodo Doodle Doo in Japanese? You mean Doodle Doodle Doo? Doodle Doodle Doo. Doodle Doodle Doo, isn't it? I don't fucking know. Do I don't speak Japanese, Jack? I barely speak English. No, he's asking about the English name. Is it Doodle Doodle Doo or Doodle Doodle Doo? Doo Doo Doodle Doo. Doo 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 Doo. Newt Newt Poopy Scoop. We're what, five minutes in? It's already falling apart. I think that the 3v3 events are super cool. Yeah, no, I really wish we got them in Europe, but like the problem is, in the American event, you're only allowed to speak English to each other, and that doesn't really work in Europe because. Um, there's more than one there's, there's more than one languages and it's kind of unfair because a lot of people just don't speak English yeah, like, which, which is kind of like so, like it's not like I've never had the issue come up I think I've had it only like maybe once at YCS's where my opponent just wouldn't be able to speak uh, English but they just got to, like two in five minutes anyway but like <laughs> um, but it, it, it still can be like quite frustrating like communicating with like, your opponent when they it, you just can't like it's yeah, just like, yeah. really hard so it's like a language barrier yeah, that, yeah. Like, and that's a problem and that, that's why it's like a bit like sketchier with like uh, European ICS just because like in America obviously the dominant language is just English whereas with like European events like obviously there's so many people with like from different countries as well so like you kind of have to accommodate that and it would probably have to like be changed and which, which like one of the like sadder realities is we might not ever get a team ICS in Europe but if they like get rid of the rule, we can only speak like, we, we can only speak uh, English. That'd be cool. But it'd also be like s- such a super unfair advantage yeah. for teams with just like foreign members. Um, but like that's tough. E- one, even isn't it? even saying that though, we do have side events in Europe at like YCSs and stuff where it is just a team events. It's the same format um, as the the YCS just gone. Um, so it probably isn't that big of a deal, honestly. It just sounds like it'd be really um, hard and awkward to try and coordinate. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Especially with, like, Europe and, like, the budget of Europe, too. Yeah. Because, so, like, we, we'd most likely be losing one of our YCS to get Team YCS, and, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Oh, uh, yeah. It was a huge sure success, that, though, in, in the States. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was like, a really massive. good success, yeah. So but I can see them definitely trying to bring it over to Europe. Yeah, I, I, feel, like, I, feel, like the, I feel like the language barrier is just so massive like it's such yeah. a big deal that would like, it be that bad if they just scrapped the the rule that I just have to speak English yeah cause like it, it wasn't a rule in the side events which is like interesting yeah um, well cause you're not great. just invest in like translators or something like that like people <laughs> well, are, well you just you, well there's language. there's judges that like speak every language though yeah, yeah there so are like, judges knocking around that like do but it, it's language. still so much work though cause you need to judge at like almost every table you need, a, just, like, you need an incentive to judges yeah cause there is like a huge amount of people who just don't know how to speak English or like like, just say you have, like, an Italian playing against a German, 
that is like really really like difficult because you need someone to translate to Italian uh, sorry you need someone to translate what they're speaking that can also speak Italian or German yeah. or whatever mm. so like it's a lot different with like English to like Italian players like let's say or like German right just an example because you could have the Italian judge who also knows how to speak English, but the Italian judge wouldn't also know how to speak German, which is like the problem. Um, it's just if you have like three Italians playing versus three Germans, that is way too much workload because you're getting two judges to like talk to each other and then translate, and it just takes up so much time and it would make the events go like so much longer. But, but like the, the, the talking between players is surely only like around their yeah. team stra strats, right? So yeah. like, why would they need to communicate with the opponent team? The opposing team. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's, it's, it's just her advantage, but yeah. like it, 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 it's like a it's like a weird one, but um, like the the best teams will still work around like yeah. having not having like the language advantage, yeah. like the the cream of the crop will still rise. Yeah, them. I also don't think it like it, it does seem like a big deal because of like how like Konami have like done the like have used these rules for the like, American event, like how they structured it, but for like for other like. Um, for like European events, like even if you are, if they are, if your opponent is like speaking to their teammate or whatever in like their language, it usually honestly just doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, because like it doesn't really matter like what they're saying to their opponent usually. Like it, it's usually like insignificant to the game. So um, you should just know the cards. Well, so like those situations come up when they say like, oh, okay, just say like a team is all playing the exact same deck. You could say to your, like, they could just say to their teammate, oh, uh, this guy's playing X card, right? Um, which which can be a bit of a, like, a problem, because, like, if it was in the American event, since everyone would have to speak English, that would also mean that your team knows that the opposing team Is aware, knows what to talk, yeah. like, that they're aware of, like, yeah. the tech or whatever. Mm. So then it com completely, like, changes games occasionally when, like... One of the teams has like, the knowledge. If, if they know, if they have the knowledge about like a certain tech card you play or something, or like um, a, like whatever list you play, uh, just say like they don't play reboot or something, right? If you like somehow find that out, um, then it could be like a different level for like mind games because then you could just not put in like the tech card or whatever, and then they just play around it for no reason, and you, you get an advantage out of it. So it, it's kind of like a weird like back and forth like in that um, in that case, but. Um, <laughs> Even still, there wasn't any problem with it, as far as I know, in the European, um, the side events. But I also haven't played in any of them, because I don't play in side events. Mm -hmm. um, but I like what those 3v3s th is that you can, like, you can get away better with playing, like, shit inconsistent decks. Well, like, it, it's not that, like, it's shit inconsistent decks. You can, like, play decks that, like, are kind of depend on the die roll, mm. and it not matter too much. Because, like, it means that your variance is just so much lower. Yeah, because yeah. just say, like, oh, you get, like, sacked in one of the games. You can also just feel, like, good knowing that, like, oh, hopefully, like, my teammates will, like, pick up the slack. So, like, you still have, like, a, a very good chance of winning anyway. As long as your team is, like, full of, like, people you trust who are, like, good, etc. Yeah, it's like, you can have, like, two, like, decently consistent decks. Like, it's like Salomon Grader, Striker, and then it's, like, something else that's not as consistent yeah. but very powerful. Like um like um, um like a big OTK deck or something yeah or like like guard dragon um the, the guard dragon variants like lose to one hand drop it yeah. eliminates the massive problem with Yu-Gi-Oh which is variants because yeah, variants exactly. is like the biggest problem where it's like oh I lost because this guy hurt you this one of them. yeah exactly yeah, yeah, like yeah. whereas like if it's three players all playing at once and yeah. the winning team the, the variance gets lowered significantly yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it drops massively like you're not gonna get sacked like not all three players are not gonna get sacked and lose because they got sacked like that's borderline impossible that's so low chance of that how do you think you could overcome the language barrier though language barrier um i don't know i like it, it is like a difficult topic to, to talk about but like i don't think it should matter too much yeah, I, I um I mean, but I, I could also see it being a problem because it does make it a bit harder for judges um, the whole point you brought up about a team having knowledge when yeah, the other exactly. team doesn't know that they have that knowledge yeah. is that's really awkward. Like that's much more awkward than it would be in, <coughs> in sorry in America where like, like yeah all the, the top team. teams will have at least one English speaking player because all the top players yeah speak but English. the problem is you also have to think about the casuals yeah because there's a lot of people who are just local to the area like mm. in Dusseldorf mm -hmm. if you like we'll still go to events like just we'll say. just go to events because like oh uh, I like oh I play Yu-Gi-Oh like locally like I'm I'm just gonna go through this YCS because it's just like easy for me 
So, like, they probably, like, don't know how to speak English because, like, it's probably, like, maybe, like, the first YCS or something, right? So, um, for, like, people who are, like, who don't speak English, for example, like, local people, it would be a lot dip- more difficult for them. But locally, um, like, they'll have loads of, like, like they have loads of native judges. So, um, the language for not as much. You would think that, but it's actually, like, not the case, really. really? Uh, like, there are some OTS that just don't have judges, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, even in Dublin, we don't have a judge in, like, our locals. Mm. And most of the time, it's just, like, people asking me, like, oh, uh, hey, Vlad, Vlad <laughs> uh, can you answer a ruling question? And I'm yeah. just there, like, trying to relax and have a good time with my friends. And then, like, people, locals are just like, hey, Vlad, can you uh, answer a ruling question? Like, I, I don't really, like, mind, but it is, like, quite annoying that, like, when there isn't a judge at, like, a local. Yeah. It's just gonna like, you. Yeah, it, it kind of just, like, like, well, I, I don't mind because it's, like, someone. it's like, it's like two seconds out of my day and I'm just like helping the tournament go faster. Like, sure, whatever. Like, I, I don't mind. But like, it can just be like a bit of a nuisance, like, especially when I play as well. Like, if, if I play in like a locals or something, it still happens. Mm. But like, the, the question gets answered within minutes because it's just like, uh, read the card. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks, lads. If, yeah, you, no if you would have quit for every time someone had asked for a ruling, it was just blatantly. I, would, I would be a millionaire. Be so you should charge 50 cent for every ruling question. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was like a funny moment where I wasn't playing locals once, and then someone asked me to get a drink, and I was like, "All right, give me two euro and ten cents instead of two euro." And they're like, "Why?" I'm like, "Postage and packaging." <laughs> 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 or sorry, delivery costs or something. Or something. Yeah. So you think that there should be a judge in place in Dublin? Uh, yeah, like especially at locals, it just makes things like so much easier. Yeah. But like a lot of the questions that are asked at locals are, are usually just like answered like if I'm not there. Or like if I'm not like ready. Um, usually just, they're pretty blatant questions. Like yeah, like usually they're like really easy. So like, like the person really who like organizes them, um, who like runs our like the, the shop most of the time, um, is like is like a really experienced player. So like you'd know these rulings through like um, your own experiences at events. So yeah. like it's it's never like too much of a bother. But sometimes there is like the odd occasion where like a really complicated ruling comes up. Not like really complicated, but like a. A weirdish yeah, ruling, yeah, yeah. like just say like, um, like it happened like recently, where it was like someone activated the Lore of Darkness and the opponent chained uh, Lancia, uh, Artifact Lancia, mm. and then they were ha- they're th- wondering what like what happens? Do they still draw? And it's like yeah, you still draw, but you reveal that you have a darkened hand, yeah. uh, which the ruling I am pretty certain is like what's in place. Uh, what happened to one of my pals actually? A funny story uh, bouncing off of that. Uh, it was UK Nationals. 2017 my friend was playing ddd sorry no it was it was ycs liverpool in 2016 oh. um and they were playing ddd in, um, <laughs> yeah they're playing ddd in um in the f stands for uh, in abc format and um what happened was they got lancet and they thought they had to discard their entire hand so my friend discarded his entire like seven card hand which would have just like killed his opponent but instead, he lost a round because of it, which like <laughs> really God. sucks. Because oh. like the deck they built for Liverpool was insane. But like uh, one of our friends who um, went X two at that event, like with a topping record, they came like thirty seven or something, which is like oh. sucks. Like because so that bad. that DDD deck was insane against ABC. Shout out to Darren for making that deck. Uh, his, opponent bad, got, his opponent got so oh. rewarded for misplaying there. Jesus. Oh yeah, no, like, it's that's, crazy. Like, that's just and my friend so didn't. For my friend shit, didn't like. think to like call a judge either. Yeah, just, always yeah. call a judge, especially yeah. if it's gonna lose you a game. You know? yeah. That like that that player got so. But he was rewarded. he was just almost certain that was the ruling because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it used to be. It might have been ruled like that like previously. But, but do you think know. bringing in a judge into locals into Dublin? Do you think that would make it more like competitive than it is supposed well, to be? It, kind of it, it's, it's not that it's competitive. It back. just it just helps out. Like, it, yeah, it would just yeah. make it, like, run a lot smoother. It would make life a lot easier for, like, yeah, the exactly. players in the room when they're going to ask questions yeah, and, yeah. and shit, like... Yeah, and there'd be less, know. like, sharking of kids, which is always nice. Yeah. Yeah. It'd also <laughs> fix, like, the time stuff that happens. Yeah, exactly. Aye. And if it's a set judge, people might take it more seriously as well, because yeah. there's been so many duels in locals where, like, you've done that you've had to call someone over three times because the person you're playing just doesn't believe you you're like yeah, yeah. a judge, a judge yeah. is like a level like of authority four people have agreed with me like just like a judge is a level of authority me. that like players there might, might not have like there might be a new player who'd like see you and they'd be like oh this is just fucking Vlad I don't know anything about him fuck him and like if it like if it was a guy like in a judge shirt they'd yeah. be like this guy or like even <laughs> or, <laughs> shit, or, or someone who just shirt. like works at the store that judges right yeah even yeah, if like uh, even if Bill or something like for argument's sake yeah but like um I don't think it's like too necessary, honestly, because like it's just that's like it's it's like more like laid back. So it's yeah. like 
it's not like the most necessary thing on the planet. It's just like a an ease of life type thing. Yeah, like yeah. You know, it'll make things easier, but it's not necessary. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. I like Dublin Logan's a lot as it is. Like it's like a it's really chill. Which um, one? The the one in in gamers like it's such a melting Which pot. One? Of people. The one he goes to. <laughs> yeah. oh, there's like there's two to. Dublin locals. I can say it. True, there is. There you're is, the only yeah. person. There's in the not room. just one. You're, you're the, the only person, person here. Who goes you're the only to person in the room that goes to both. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just because like there's like a yeah, different don't know friend this. group. That yeah, I, do know. Well, I didn't even know that there was another one. Yeah, it's in it's in the room. It's in the Yeah, it's in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, just that's a hike. But uh, it is a hike, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although it's like only like twenty minutes on the train, so it's like kind of whatever. Yeah. Well, the dart, the dart, the dart, the dart, the dart. Yeah. Well, was this because discussion about it again? Oh yeah, Lana. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, we can just travel, <laughs> right? You're yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We we th- these topics Keep are loose. cool. Although it's really hard to like uh, explain these things while I'm, like getting destroyed in Tetris. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think you've ever said anything less cool. Oh, than right. That. Billy Siggins, if, so you're, Billy Siggins, if you're listening Tetris. to this podcast, I'm fucking coming for you. <laughs> Me and him play Tetris all the time. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. God damn. We always just, like, compete to see who gets the, like, highest uh, score in the PC version. I fucking love Tetris, man. I fucking That's a good backbone of my childhood is Tetris. I really love Tetris, man. I really love Tetris, man. I just Tetris. fucking love Dorts and Tetris. I really fucking love Tetris. I just love, like, things with... Four objects in them. Ah, you, you mean know? a tetraminoid. Tetraminoid. Tetramin. Tetraminos. A tetramino. That's that's. Yeah, one. those ones. The zucchini is shit without coke. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying it right here, right yeah. now. Yeah, the first time you, you take a sip of it, it's 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 nice. It's it? rough after yeah, that. What it what won Atlanta? Was it the? It was it two was, striker. It was two striker Sal Yeah. yeah. It also, was the uh, so uh, the, Bra- now, the Brazilian slash uh, Chile team. Yeah. So Sal Magrave now officially won OIS. Yeah. So Kinda, yeah. I mean, like, they've won a team. Wait, technically. <laughs> yeah, they won. They won OICS with assistance, I guess. They haven't won OICS like on their own. Wait, was Salomon Great two striker? Salomon Great two striker. Mm. Which was is the, like was the, the team that won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, they've won OICS, but like, have they really? Like, they won. They won <laughs> uh, a... I, I'd count them. I mean, yeah, they've like, won one third of OICS. What was his record actually? The guy, the guy who was playing Salomon Great. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> X seven. Uh, <laughs> enough, uh, that's the guy who beat Darren Stevenson in the finals of YCS Chile last year, and he fucking he doesn't hate him, but we just joke that he does hate him, like as a meme. <laughs> the Darren hates the. the Darren yeah, guy. yeah, Hector. Yeah, that's his oh. name. It was really funny. So if Darren just didn't get super unlucky in the final against them, he would have been the only person to win an event with Pendulum FDK. Because Pendulum FDK, by the way, hadn't has never won a YCS, which is kind of funny. That's mm-hmm. hilarious. But like, uh, I mean, he's unlucky. He's unlucky enough that his name is Hector. So let the man have his way. Yeah, that's fair. Probably well, he's also from Chile. That kind of sucks, right? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> fuck. I I've made a mistake. Uh, it's fine. We already been. Chile's dun, probably dun. fine. Uh, don't sue me. It's fine. No Chileans have enough internet to listen to us. That is even more racist. That's even worse. Dun, 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 so dun, 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 dual power is pretty cool, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, dual power is sick. Although, yeah. uh, I don't know. If they put the Raid Rapper link in it, they fuck the format because I'm going to win a vent with a blue <laughs> light. That's what I'm saying. If they, once they print a Raid Rapper link, at me because like, I'm not even giving you my list. <laughs> <laughs> at, at me just, so I can just block you. Block your spam. At me just so I can tell you that I have ah! to win with blue light. Where do you come? What? Don't ask me that. No? <laughs> no. Wait, wait, did you come at Dude, I've been getting... Oh, my God. Fucked. Tilted. Why are you playing ranked? He's he's currently playing DB ranked on his laptop. Yo, are you maining Pankratops? Hey, You're dude. crazy. <laughs> Tom made them. Ma, dude, you crazy. Tom made three. What? Pankratops. Punky. Who? Tom Rose. Rose. Aye, but who cares about him? <laughs> oh. Oofed. Poor he's guy. He's straight. <laughs> And ditched his boy Dante. Trappier. Yeah. Trappier. <laughs> <laughs> right. Trap. Plus BA. Equals, equals win. Equals game. Equals dead saw mangrave player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost certain Trap BA cannot lose a game just like saw mangrave. I'm also certain Even this. through Dweller, I think it's still just game. I think it's... Because you sit across your opponent... And then you look at them in the eye and you say, trap BA. And they just scoop, they leave the table, they just leave the handshake. They just pee themselves and they start crying and they run away. Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. They shit their pants so much. They just shit their pants so much, they get like a like a fucking meter of airtime. I mean, yeah. you would too if you saw trap BA across. Oh, you would. You at, like would. A, at like a, an event. 
Trapier. It's a power trap deck. Yeah. It's a big dick deck. So or is big it? dick. God knows. But we'll find out, man. We'll find out. Yeah. Hey, Adam, how big's your deck? Don't Just curse the podcast. Big enough. Mm. <laughs> big big enough. Please <laughs> <Please, laughs> don't toilet me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> to- told is fine. I just got a long bar, dude. Yeah, dual power is actually like gonna be a six set though. Yeah. Hopefully, so there's like hopefully there's like a lot more cooler imports because like the ones we've seen so far are like really mad. Like Door to Destiny, no one cares about what that card does. Oh no! What no. does it do? I don't even know, and I'm not excited. Like it's probably terrible. Lads, like, watch out! BLS link. Fuck me, like. It's oh just, no, that's not dual power. That's in Battles of Legend. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, okay. Battles of Legend has that's a cipher. Like, cool. Either way, it's garbage. Fuck it. Fuck that card. It's terrible. I can't so, wait to own impairments. Oh, me too, man. I can't wait to own like cards. Same. Oh, how much they gonna be? Ooh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'd many. say they could hover around the thirties range. That's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, because that's really what like Ultra Ashes less. were. Mm. But also it depends on how short print they are, right? Because if they're not short print at all, yeah. it it's probably still. Gonna even be then, it's, it's it, yeah. I probably just won't be pennies because it's just like such a. It'll, it'll be like evenly from the tens, like evenly from the tens is a lot. Like yeah. 20, 20 Although years. it wasn't that much on release though, it just went up afterwards, and that's yeah, not like yeah, the yeah. natural thing with like Yu-Gi-Oh reprints. I feel like that's what will happen with Impermanence as well. Is it'll be pretty yeah. low on release, and then it'll just go up again. Yeah. There's some cool like Odd Eyes cards, like Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. That's an import, right? I've been uh, waiting for it for a long yeah. time. Probably. I, I don't know. know. Kieran Shields be happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Activate Persona When's Dragon Steel Power out? Two uh, weeks. The third, I think. Yeah, the week after the Kenny Regional. Mm. I am so fucking Trappy excited. Kenny. The weekend after or just during the week? <laughs> Same. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 the third, it's the third day after that. Oh, grand. I'll be yeah. back. It got pushed forward like two days as well. So, well, it was always just gonna be on the Thursday. I'll push you forward. They always release sets on Thursdays. No, oh, okay. How do you know? Well, for Europe anyway. I'm not sure about America. Mm. <laughs> Cyber Dragon Napster is getting in that, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. That makes like uh, Cyber Dragon uh, still bad. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less bad. Uh yeah, sure. Cyber Dragon uh, Betsimo. How can they I read that? it and I I just don't think that card is very good. <laughs> but I have to, I might have to read it like again. It might be one of those cards where like you read the first time it's terrible. But then you have to, like, put it into context into a deck or whatever, and it's actually, like, okay. How about that fucking Thunder Dragon Link 4, though? Hey, I'm sorry. That, is the, the deck. that is, the like, the one of the worst cards I've ever it's read. It's so terrible. What the fuck were they thinking when they're like, oh, let's make a Thunder Dragon Link 4 and make it bad. Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. Let's do that. It's like, oh, hey. in fairness, they've fucked up Link 4s in the past. Oh, so much. Like, uh, Q, Firewall Dragon, Gumblar, Soyuja Skull Dread... Yeah. Let's uh, do the complete opposite. Oh, that. Just make them complete. Complete. Yeah, no, they're they're really careful about their link fours because yeah. link fours are a lot easier to make neat thing. I can't be they have to have so many restrictions for them to be like not like insanely broken. Like Boral Sword has like actually like some hefty restrictions, right? And that card's still broken. Like yeah. it's insane. Like Borload, sure, right? That's like the perfect example of like a not broken link four with like um because like its summoning condition is still like kind of tough but its effect is also just like it's worth what you invested into it yeah and the utility of it's just like really good it's not like broken per se it's so just it's like balanced. very good yeah it's, it's just, just balanced like, it's, it's balanced it's, it's, like, it's like a perfect like link four right but then they also like printed what was in the same set as that actually no, nothing else was broken in the same set except like double helix but like mm. um that, that, that that's like a a complete like different like um what's the word i'm looking for or analogy even um Can a breed of its own it's a breed of its own yeah, yeah. Um, i agree that exo was the most fuck set of last year yeah but like so so you just gold red is actually another one of those link fours where it's like um it it is like it doesn't do anything like broken per se but it's broken once you start making more than one um because like once you start making more than one so you per turn that's when, like, your deck should be doing, like, your deck sh- um, is doing something it shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, like, f- breaking, like, fundamental, like, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, like exa- example, like, the, the, every Danger FTK deck, like, either, like, London version or the Milan version, those decks should not have, like, existed. Like, it, they shouldn't have been able to, like, do any of that. It's it just so terrible. happened that they forgot to make Suyuja... Uh, a hard one's return. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, So they're just like, uh, oops. <laughs> like, but they didn't think people were going to make more than one Suyuja, but they also just printed danger. So it's like, <laughs> uh, uh, oops. 
Tony Stark uses well, forever. Like it's kind of comparable to Firewall in that regard. Right? Yeah, yeah, kind just of. By making by like making more than one, it just like fucks what. The oh yeah, no, I I can't believe that there was a format where Firewall was legal at three. I topped an event with three Firewall in my deck. Funny enough. How did you feel? Uh it was insane. Inferno was so nuts. It's so powerful, man. Dude, like. Firewall put back firewall insane. <laughs> like you just make infinite amounts of firewall. It's so funny. <laughs> What's happening? James is fired on playing his hand. Wow. Oh oh my God. God. I'm pretty sure that Mike picked that up. Straight <laughs> white. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> nice second the podcast, James. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry you. Uh, you play with fire, you get burned, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like. The ban list is like soon, uh, cause it's probably coming out like during, um, uh, like after like slightly after like dual powers release. Yeah. Um, cause it's it's like when dual powers release is when uh, the no sooner than thing kind of expires. Well, not expires, but it, it means like oh, it's like coming soon or whatever. The ban list. Yeah. Um, so for like hits. They just have to address, like, the rank of magic spell for Phantom Knights. And they have to address Dangers and Soyuja. Um, probably just, like, Strike or two. Like, that deck's won too many events and still not get hit. Yeah. Which is, like... It's also been a around for so fucking dumb. ages. No, like, that's like that's what I mean. Like, it's been around for, like, a year almost. It, it, it's, it, it's coming up to a year now, yeah. It's a year in, like, May, isn't it? Yeah. Dark Saviors is, like, in May. Uh, something like that. Guys, Keen McDonald would actually cry. Who would he play afterwards, do you think? Oh, he'd probably just be selling it. I'll play Go back to Gusto. Go nah. back to his roots. You were never there in Gusto, you can't even say that. I true. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> I think he. I think he plays Salmon great. I can. Yeah, probably. See I can see it. Probably should play whatever he plays Salmon. Probably. Yeah, I think you guys in a really good place right now, though. Like, I know the balance is coming out, and I know, like, as a thought, it's a bit of a, ter- bit, bit of a problem. Other things. It's but, like, like such a fragile combo. It's kind of like a shame, but like also <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it. It's not like. It's not completely busted. I was hoping it would just be completely busted, so they just have to make an E list, like. Mm. God, I haven't seen an E list since Norton. That was the first. No, the first that, that, there there wasn't even an E list though. Spiral was an E list. No, it's, Norden was around for like a full year. Like Jeez. OCG banned Norden like almost instantly, uh, just because it was so dumb. I think it was, like, actually they put Instant Fusion on first. Um, I remember. But that then they was... had all these Fusion Gate FDKs with Blaze Phoenix. Oh, and yeah. then they put Blaze Phoenix to one, and then eventually they're like, nah, fuck Norton, right? <laughs> so their format was so, their zoo format was so much different than ours, because our zoo format still had Norton for whatever reason. And then Konami didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. Um, but then, like, the, the, the Jeff Jones, like, theory group or whatever, they were kind of just like, hey, do you want to be fucking funny, right? We activate Fusion Substitute and we just make Norden with two Zoo Exposes. Then everyone was like, yeah, that would be funny right enough. Uh, and then it was just warped the format because like, it turned this like, kind of healthy, like grindy like deck like of a mirror match that was like, really strong into just like, haha, I have combo. <laughs> I'm going to draw my times. entire deck. It's insane. Like, okay, cool. Um... But yeah, like, in the OCG, Sue format was completely fine. It was just like, yeah, I'm going to make my Dragon, I'm going to make my Emerald, I'm going to set my trap cards and pass. In our format, it was like, I am going to draw my deck, and I'm going to end with a full hand and five sets. Duelist, you cannot win. I hated that format so and much. And then your opponent activate Grass, and then you're like, oh, actually, you might be able to win. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, it's ridiculous. But the other cool thing about our format in comparison to theirs, though, was that, like, we got the, like, there was, like, a fatal flaw to the entire fusion stuff combo, which is you just activate Retaliating Seat, um, which is just, like, a hand trap that um, basically is a dark law that's on the field, and it summons itself when your opponent activates a spell card or spell card effect that would special summon a monster. So it triggers off, like, Barrage and stuff, but basically you trigger on Fusion Substitute, and then they basically just lose because all their resources just start getting banished, which wasn't a problem to OCG because they didn't have this fusion sub combo to begin with because they didn't have Norton. So 
It was kind of like a more interesting format for us. But the other problem was that the 60 card deck abused Fusion Slug way better than Zoo, and no one, like, knew about it. Like, I think every, like, I think almost every 60 card deck that entered Prague, like the, the only European event we got to play with, uh, that Zoo deck, um, yeah, I think, like, like almost every 60 card deck that entered that event, like, topped or something, like, crazy like that. Um, I love 60 card. Uh, grass is such a fun card, but also fuck grass, man. I like, can't imagine yeah. how powerful it was felt to go left arm, activate grass, win the fucking game. Yeah. That's so good. Like, that was my first like meta deck, and I never played it on any events. I just had it. Yikes. Grass was fucking ridiculous. Grass is fun. But yeah, I hated uh, that format. Like I was playing this like shit. It's the first format I played, and I was playing this like shitty mass hero deck, um, <laughs> with like like two dark laws, like um fucking like th- probably like two mass changes as well i just didn't have anything it was terrible i had, like no hand traps or anything and i just like i was like either staring down this thing that would like pop my one play every time i tried to do anything or i was facing down this like big untargetable towers that just I-, I couldn't do anything to and i just hated my life every single game i played i played nationals that year with you james oh yeah that was crazy oh my deck was worse oh we uh, were some bottom table yeah. the entire day yikes my god so bad Although I just, I didn't actually have a deck, I just found loads of random cards and threw them together. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I, 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 think I might did. have had full 60 card built at that time, and I was like, ooh, ooh, we'll banish everything! And it just didn't work out for me. I think Who'd I was playing thought? Dark Magician Red Eyes. Who'd have thought Hero's bad? What? Who'd have thought Hero's bad? Go figure. Literally every hero. hero with a brain. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not hard to figure out, like. How far I done came. To be fair, Dark Law is a good card, though. Dark Law is pretty fucked. Dark Law is pretty fucked. Love, love Dark Law. I remember when Norton got banned, actually. It was one of my first locals. Um, and I was, I was... Maybe my third or fourth locals. Um, and I was just, like, sitting at the table, like, playing a game. And I think it was David Kavanagh who just, like, holds up his phone and shouts, Norton is gone! And everyone just cheers. Yeah, like, I was at the locals. I was playing, like, 60 card deck. <laughs> and I was like, no! It was, like, me and my pal Mark who were, like... Oh, and Cormac. Um, we've been, like, building this 60 card deck for ages. We're like, damn, we're going to destroy Nats with this. None of us topped. Um... <laughs> But, like, we all just got, like, super unlucky. And, like, uh, in fairness, like, uh, Cormac and Mark were both really close to topping. They are like, they lost, both lost in the bubble of the last round of the thing. Well, that's so grim. But, like, um, I remember that locals, because we're like, fuck, we have to play this deck for Nats now, because it's the only event we'll ever be able to play that. But weirdly enough, it was actually still playable for Euros, but I didn't go to Euros that year for some reason. Oh, yeah, that uh, shit happened. Yeah. Well, Tragic. Um, I'm not around for Euros this year. It's really sad. Oof. I'm in Italy. I really want to go because I've only like just gotten like competitively into the game. So it'd be really cool to just go and like be in that buzz. Yeah. So we'll Premier see. events are like so much more different than locals because you get to see so many people that you wouldn't really regularly see. It's kind of like a kind of like a convention, I guess, but like with less sweaty anime nerds and more sweaty Yu-Gi-Oh nerds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a nerd What's the difference? It's honestly, like, <laughs> not even that sweaty. Like, people say it's, like, bad, but, like, honestly, I've not had a bad experience. Yeah, like, even gamers, like, I was saying this to someone, like, ages ago, This we're really blessed to have, like, a decent standard of hygiene yeah. in that place. Mm. There's so only, like, less. really smelly people in there. Huh? There's only, like, really smelly people no. in there. No, 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 no. God bless. God bless gamers. Like, Why would they hold an event for, like, yeah, all the regionals and stuff? The regionals are usually like in gamers or in like a like a hotel, but like for the YCSs and stuff that are, are it, they they like run out like a big like hall or whatever. Yeah. So like sometimes it's in a convention center. Most of the time it's in a convention center. Um, like most of the German YCSs, they are just like usually in convention centers. Um, sometimes it's like sports halls and stuff. Um, yeah. They're like really huge like sports halls. Uh, that venue we had for nationals like two two years ago. Was oh, it was terrible. Wins, Hotel, right? Wins, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, the mirrors the worst. everywhere. The worst. Oh, I, I was in some Mark Solomon in the first round. He's playing Zephyr, right? Uh, yeah, he was, yeah. Um, <laughs> he played the deck for like <laughs> so long. Yeah, so he was long. terrible. <laughs> he didn't, he's never talked an event with Zephyr, I think. It's tragic. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, games. I remember he just ran me with Locals one day with Zephyr, and I was like, lads, what are you doing? <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't enter Locals that day, and I was like, lads, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> how, how did you just let Zephyr win? Weirdly enough, the deck was actually just really good. So I was just a fucking hater. Like, <laughs> like I ended up just like playing Zephyr like a few formats after that, I think. Mm. And then I was like, "Fuck, I love Zephyr." <laughs> was it Tate? We made like a Zephyr deck and then and like top two YCS with it. Or... He played with um, Bokum, I think. He top yeah, he came third Bokum. 
Uh, I came third at Weiss's Boat last year with it. Yeah, that was really cool. He likes that for a lot. I was against Mark anyway with the, the, that, that Nationals, and like he he had the mirror like directly behind him, and he was like, oh, fidgeting, and he was like, oh shit. And I was like, it, it took us like five minutes to actually start the game after the round started, because he's like running around and looking for anything to like block the mirror, and like, oh, like, it was, like everyone was doing that as well. Like it was it was such a it's mess. A, it's, it's a fair point. Like, show, it's it's a, a fair yeah. point. It's a fucking stupid idea to have. I don't to do it like the audience yeah, or something also, like that. Like, um, actual, we like, actually. Funnily enough, um, Nats in 2014 was in the RDS, but it was also during um, MCM Comic Con. So basically what happened was we got free weekend passes for the MCM if we were entering the main event. Oh, that's really cool. So basically, like, it was, like, it was actually, like, the best nationals I've been to, which is, like, kind of a shame because the rest of the venues so far have just been god-awful. Yes. Um, Like, Ballsbridge Hotel is, like, nice, actually, but... Um, go back to the reviews but like yeah like the RDS was fucking sick I wish they did like um, Nats and MCM a lot where was uh, the first Nats that you went to bad actually um, 2013 yeah. where was that um, that was in UCD UCD yeah, uh, yeah. in the actual hall yeah, yeah, that's where the open was last year as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a great venue. venue. It's so, so venue. spacious. I love that venue. Yeah, it was very good. We we had nationals there for quite a while. The the Nats before that was also in there, yeah. and the Nats. Before that as well. Yeah, it was like three uh, years in a row where Nats was in that venue. Um, I, actually, I love that Open so much. Um, yeah, that I, I didn't like, alright, I guess. I, 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 don't, I don't think I topped at all, but I just had like a really good time. And the, the <coughs> venue was so nice, and like everyone was sound. Like all my favorite players were there, so it was just really cool. Like, like me. All the best dudes. Uh, you were there, fucking Ke- Kieran Mead was there. Yes, I fucking was there. Damn right you were there. Um, fucking like, Karmic was there. Like James and Aiden, we all like drove up. It was, yeah, it was, it's a nice. It was cool, cool ass road Excuse me, fucker. Yeah, I guess you were there too. I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. What did you just play at the Open last year? Out of curiosity, oh. did you finish a monster by the way? Oh. I played Lord of Talents. Lights orange oh. dolls. I, I actually did unexpectedly from. well with them. I played yeah, Pendulum. I was yeah, fucking yeah. terrible. I'm a pedo and I played Trickstar. I remember right. having a big like shit attack because I played Coogan. I was like, oh fuck, he's playing full power Pendulum. I had a I had Coogan, like Coogan top that as man. I don't think he did that kind of shit. I had like everything that I needed for the pendulum FTK. And the night before I was like, Do I play the FTK or do I not? And for some reason I was like, No, I won't play the FTK. And then first round I entered I was like, Should have played the FTK. Yeah. Immediately I was like, I should have played the FTK. Regress. Fuck this. <laughs> like Are you, are you sure you regret it after playing a kid in the first round? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Funny story. Oh, yeah. Uh so Gary White, um Gary Shite. Yeah, so Gary Shite. Yeah, do you mean? <laughs> um, so he played Pendulum FTK for that event. And he's playing against a kid in the first round. Oh, and he actually kids. doesn't know how to do the pendulum FDK. <laughs> so he uses this round to learn how to do it <laughs> against a child. <laughs> I was sat next to him and I was like, Gary, what the fuck? <laughs> this poor child just like, is it my turn yet? And I was like, I'm sorry, buddy. You're Gary. not getting a turn. <laughs> Gary's just like, no, bro, you're dead. Fuck off. No, I'm sorry. Like... I, I would usually go easy on them, but I don't know how to play my deck. <laughs> Imagine just being like an eight-year-old kid who's, who's like, mommy drove you up to this yeah. event. Your first ever Yu-Gi-Oh event, you're like, oh, I'll hype to play your, like, your ABC structure deck, whatever. Yeah. And your first round, you play you against, play Gary, against Na- Gary White, national, national champion, champion Gary doesn't know White. how to play his deck, and just FTKs you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best deck profile I ever saw was, it was I think it was a guy playing... Was it Audrey or something? Well, like, the entire profile, he, he won an event, and the entire profile, he was just pretending he didn't know what his cards did. It was, was Goki, I think. Is that yeah. Billy Sagan? Oh, is, it, is this Gabe Vargas? <laughs> it might have been. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know why he oh, said that? Because he actually didn't know how to play the deck. Legit. No, like, like legit. He's fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's actually, like, like a monkey. Like, I <laughs> fucking hate him. Glad. Like, <laughs> what was the, um, what was the deck? He's a Fucking monkey. <laughs> he was playing yeah, Goki. Yeah, yeah. Vlad, you showed me my favorite profile last night. Which one? Owen Casey. Oh my god. <laughs> Owen Casey topped um like one of our pals from locals. Um he doesn't actually Oh he was at the, he came second at the Limerick Regional. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he just he just isn't in Dublin as much anymore because um he doesn't live he used to live in Dublin for yeah. like college. I'd never seen him before moved. The, the open the right, yeah. regional. Yeah, he's 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 one of our good pals and um he, he topped the regional in full power f- spiral format. This is like the first weekend, like, spiral is legal, right? Um, well, like, double helix is legal, rather. Mm-hmm. And he ta- he comes, like, seven at the event with, like, nine cards in his extra deck in Pendulum Magician. 
What? A deck you need your extra deck for. What? One of the cards in his nine card extra deck was Dark Law. How did he make it, you may ask? He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he had no way to summon the Dark Law. It was Apparently just there. Apparently he did summon it, though. I didn't watch the full profile. I just he skipped to the, had I just skipped two to the, the extra side. deck. He must have matched it to the side or something. Yeah. I do think it looked good sometimes where I just put Moki Moki in my extra deck and no one ever notices it, man. I never summon it. It's just funny. Imagine, you got, <laughs> imagine you got Cherry and someone looks at your extra and sees Moki Moki and they're like, what the fuck? Judge! <laughs> Judge, this man's playing this fucking stupid card. What's the... Someone has a fake Moki uh, Moki at Locals. Uh, the he... This is a huge. Current, current new. Yeah, it is a huge oh, scorpion yeah. with an evil soul. Yeah, it's the name, it's Moki Moki. That's the name of the card. It is a huge scorpion with evil soul. It is a huge scorpion with an evil soul. It's just I a picture of Moki so Moki. Much. I'm gonna put that up on the page actually. That sounds like Paulina describing you, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, it's, a big, it's an angry scorpion. <laughs> evil soul. No. He's <laughs> so no. I love Moki Moki. The, the, have, have you seen the episode in GX that was in? Oh, yeah, 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 The guy was such a fucking stoner. Yeah, he just, like, Jane yeah. straight up plays against some, like, stoner child. Like, <laughs> he's just like, oh, just chill, bro. It's like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, you'd need to be hyped by Moki Moki. Yeah, anything, like, like, willingly. <laughs> I mean, his, like, whole thing was he tried to put Jaden to sleep or something. Wasn't yeah, it? no, to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, getting yeah. stoned, <laughs> bro. <laughs> they're getting those boofs in. Like, big, old, big old doints and ash. My guy, like... <laughs> big fat fucking doints and ash. This is a great episode. That was probably the only good episode of GX I've ever I feel seen. like we're missing a person, by the way. Where's uh, Joseph? Uh, Joseph is in his room because he doesn't play you. He's, he's doing study. Yeah, I'll he's put him in the thumbnail. Season. Put him in the thumbnail for no reason. Put everyone in the thumbnail for no reason. Except for Joseph. No, wait, except for everyone. What I want you to do is I want you to, I want you to cut this part of the podcast out Put everyone in the thumbnail, have them all be really confused, and don't explain it to them. I want people like Robbie and Michael in the thumbnail when they've no... Put Billy Sagan's in the thumbnail for no reason, and have them to be really confused. Put Gabriel Vargas and like... Put Gabe Vargas in the thumbnail. Right, as much as I shit on Gabe just there, right? He's actually, like, a lovely kid, but... You called him a monkey. <laughs> no, no, he, <laughs> was, a, he, he was a monkey then, but then he actually won a white he, yeah, so, he like, evolved. fair post him, right? Yeah. But... He was a monkey. Like, like we, there was legit the just like top. there was like a, a while in our chat where we were just like, oh, that retard guy from America like, <laughs> one Nats where he didn't know how to play. Not even American. He's he has Canada. A, he yeah, like sorry, Canada. Months. Sorry, sorry. Not not the same thing. He was so young, like sixteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's like, like that's pretty sick for him, right? Still but at the same apparently. time, it's like. It really goes to show how bad that format was, where, like, someone who doesn't even know how to play their deck wins the event. Like, yeah. that, that shows how, like, n- not, like, healthy it was for, like, competitive scene. Because, like, you just have decks that carried you. My man learned one combo and did it all day in one. Yeah. Like, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter how, like, bad you are at the game, as long as your deck is literally just, like, uh, insane. And you just know how to, know like, Once memorize. Your deck is, like, oh, yeah. um... Goki plus jump forward is uh, uh, my opponent can't play. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like once you just learned one combo, you were game set. two and three. Uh, red reboot uh, actually. So it's just the <laughs> of the meta. So it's like really OP. So it was just so yeah. Like it, like the deck just carried you. It was like, so yeah. stupid. It was so fucking. Good. It was like the combo was the exact same yeah. every time. But it worked. Uh, There's different. No matter what you it. drew, it like, was he, like it was two always it was so consistent. Two warriors was combo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like two warriors was combo all the time. Like it was ridiculous. In America, especially with the Link Rebo. In in yeah. Europe, we didn't have Link Rebo, so we had to get a bit craftier. It had to be like double mermaid, wasn't it? For a while? Yeah, yeah, double mermaid. Was... And then Link Rebo came out, and we're like, okay, it's fine now. Everything's okay. Double mermaid was still kind double of. Double mermaid's pretty good. It was like, no attack. It's like no no punch. I'm so <laughs> insane they fucking, against Alter guys. Like they yeah. destroy the 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 V jump promos. I'm so happy in America. Yeah. Because like God. they had like Link Rebo. V jump so is long. different. V jump is different than Shonen Jump. Yeah. V-jump just, oh, OCG. sorry. V jump supposed to be Shonen yeah. Jump promos like a uh, Link Rebo. Uh, that's actually just semantics. It's just same. Yeah. yeah. More or less. So you know what I meant anyway. Yeah. yeah but like yeah, like yeah, like we yeah. like like um Link Rebo and and yeah. um. Summon Surf, they had it for so long before we did. They had it for like months. It's like they were fucking blue balling us with that Didn't shit. They had for like almost a year <laughs> before we had it. Uh, no. <laughs> it was a long ass time though, wasn't it? It was like months. Yeah. It's like we knew what it was going to do in the format, right? Because it, they were doing it in America already. Yeah, so were... why the fuck couldn't we? Yeah. I, 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 one of the crazy things to think about is that like, so two Hornet drones in America when they had Link Creepo was like an extra link or something, right? Here, it was just like 
um, a, a mermaid to... or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was that's so like... crazy that one card made a difference. It was just like, like Link 2, like. Yeah, like, just terrible. Like, I think like 3, actually. Um, but it was just, like, so bad. It's funny how, like, the the best card in, like, that did the U-Link, which was Trigate, is just shit now. Yeah, well, it's not that it's shit now, it's just so hard to make now. He's not yeah. shit, he's just awkward to like, make. Like, the card's still There's good. No reason, no, nothing's, like... nothing's, like, changed. Like, the card's still, like, good. Mm. Right? It's just, like, not as easy to abuse and just make as yeah. it was back then. No one, no one pays money. I have to say, a deck that runs Trigate. Well, it, it so just, it's just not possible, because you can't get that many Link materials as easily. Mm. And that's, 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 how that meant, I, that's how that, like, card was meant to be used. It was meant to be, like, this, like... It was, it was meant to be a card on the same levels as cards, like... Like Stardust Dragon, which was like a really good like end board monster. Cards like Tornado Dragon, which like disruption, like Na- Evil Storm Nightmare even. Like Cyber Dragon Infinity, right? Like like those type of cards are just like a boss monster that's like protecting your board, right? And that's what Triview is meant to be. But unfortunately with Trigate, it you need to invest so many like monsters and pure resources into it that it's actually just not as viable as any of the other cards I stated above. Yeah. Because like with Infinity, two level two level five machines. Make gives you that negate, right? Yeah, easy, with easy. with two level five machines, um, you you you, you don't even make trigate, and like that's not even with any negates, right? Mm-hmm. Like, depending on what the machines are, I guess you can make a trigate, but is it gonna be cool into three? No, probably not. Definitely not. But like, that that's how like that's what the reason why the cards like really not really played anymore, just because like it's too awkward to make. It, it's it's like way too awkward to make, but like. Obviously, firewall like didn't matter. Like yeah, there's no like there's no deck currently that's good that can just yeah. Rely there's no like shite out of try again. Yeah, like there's just better cards you'd rather make. Like yeah, why no would way. I let my card my phone have like ooh, I have one card negate that's so good. Yeah. Why would I want, why don't I just make it so my phone can't use monster effects for the entire turn instead? <laughs> like okay. I think the worst thing about that board was the nightmares. Oh yeah, no yeah. goblin especially. Goblin was yeah. terrible. Uh, goblin was a dick, big dick. He was super, super, super generic strafnite that required you to not run Garnet. Big nub goblin. That also made your board untargetable. The untargeting bit was a bit dumb. Yeah. In my trickstar deck though, help me. I remember I read I read Goblin when he like when he was like trying Goblin he was first coming out in the OCG and I read him was like, what the fuck? Why did they print this? Yeah, I no, like, I was like, why aren't more people in the OCG just playing this card? Because I read it and I was like, this is just Seraphonite that also has a bonus effect and doesn't require you to run bonus bricks. Bonus effect! And gives you links on It doesn't need you to run bricks. Like, there's no need to run a, a bricks with Goblin because any two monsters with different names will just make it and give you a free normal summon. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's kind of weird how, like, l- so I don't think Konami really realized how f- fucked the link mechanic is but it's also like one of the most fun parts of the game currently i'd say yeah because like they like with like link brains pack one especially i don't they really just didn't know what they were doing i think because i don't think they like realized how good links are yeah. because there's so many links because what happens is one link can turn to another link right like the laddering aspect right like the crazy part like you make a phoenix pop a back row then you make a unicorn and you spin a back row right that's nuts like you don't have an xyz that does that yeah like crazy because like with xyz's you get your you you combine your two monsters to make your xyz and you get nothing else out of that for the rest of the turn Mm. the only deck the deck that like was like the first link summoning deck was xyz infernity before links came out because what it did was very similar to Link something to like you know like clear his field and like keep making monsters. Yeah. The way it did that is that it made diamond direwolves to destroy itself and another card on your field, so you'd have room. That's, yeah. That's how fucked the deck was. That's so. Is that the deck played like... four copies of Soul Charge. You played your Inferno Launcher, which is searchable, and then three actual. Is that Soul the deck Charge. that like shout out the Valve Chain? And yeah. Emerald. Yeah. And then you use Emerald to put them back. Yeah, you, you Emerald yeah. put the chains back, makes them again. Fucking crazy. Yeah. That card is nuts. Emerald yeah. put chain back. I knew how insane it was until after it got going. banned. Because yeah. I was like new in that format. Yeah. So like, then the entire thing with like Link Frames Pack One, I, I I think they just didn't realize that a lot of the cards from Link Frames Link Frames Pack One, you they just tutored into each other. Like you could go like Trubini, then make Needle Fiber, then make. Uh, summon oh. Sork, which then makes Curious. So, it's like. makes Bardish. Yeah, like, Bardish came later. But, like, because oh, yeah. that was a TCG thing, right? Yeah. yeah but, um. 
yeah, like they do really did not know what they were doing. Like Brussy was kind of a, um, like a step in the right direction, where, where it has this it has the, uh, the very very important key part of its text, yeah. which is cannot be used as link material. Can you imagine Rusty, right? If it didn't say that, it would be. It would have been biggest. instantly banned as soon as it came out. Like yeah. there would just be like it would be so dumb. Like Fogblade, bring it back and stuff. Like. I like how it can be used as because if you do yeah. think about where you place it, if you want to put an extra monster on, if it's worth it, and like, you have a, 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 a lackluster hand. Yeah, but like, the, the craziest thing to think about as well, that card is still fucked with, like, that line of text. Like, yeah. that just shows how insane Link monsters are. Crazy. Because, like, to make Rusty, sure, you need, like, you need to invest three monsters into it, right? Realistically, you're investing, like, one, probably. Because, oh, they also printed Easel, also from Link Brain's pack, one weird huh this seems like be a, a recurring trend with link rains pack one and the word broken combined in the same sentence yeah it's weird isn't it it's yeah strange, uh, weird how happy coincidence is it but what's your favorite link monster bud my favorite link monster uh curious probably that card's sick yeah, it's just yeah, laval chain too yeah do you want to yeah. ask me what my favorite xyz is go on laval chain no <laughs> oh, hey. what's your favorite fusion monster oh uh norton Norton, really? Yeah. More than like Norton's so fucking old. More than like Master Diamond or anything, are you? Nah, d the Gemini ones are kind of lame, honestly. I thought yeah. Gemites. They're cool. They look really pretty. Nah, they're just based off rocks, man. Like, I, I, I'm off drugs, right? I can't do rocks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off that crack rock. <laughs> I'm on the molly. I'm on the bean. Etc. 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 Lily and Pumper All right. Anything else anyone wants to bring up, or uh, are we? Uh, ban uh, ban Minecraft Magic. Ban Minecraft Magic. Um. Big bomb. Fight me, Gabe Vargas. Um, wow, uh, you just fucking goom his head. He's like 16 years uh, old. Fight you want to fight a monkey? That's uh, not a good idea. Fight me, the entire country of Chile. <laughs> no, no, not Chile. No, you don't, you do not invoke the wrath of Chile. I feel like Chile could legitimately fuck you up. Okay, Chile, I legitimately apologize then. I, I feel like Chile have their channels. I didn't realize your true power. Please don't fuck me up. I feel like everyone in Chile has like, like a, like a... MK47, whatever. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse than what I said. At least I didn't no, shit no, no, in Panama, because then Galli would be after me. Nah. What, what country is, is Panama a country? Is it? Mm -hmm. is it? What's it Panama? Is. I'm not, I'm not very pretty sure it's a country. My name is yeah. Panama. Okay. Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> wow. My name is Jeff. <laughs>